Ladies and gentlemen, how are we doing? Cameron Stewart calling here. Cameron Stewart calling in here. So uh, I'm just heading into Auckland right now and I thought I'd pump out a video. As you can see, I'm wearing my bright yellow uh, Invercargill t-shirt, Invercargill Proud today. Uh, this was given to me by a friend of mine, Ben Lindsay. So uh, I rock it out at the gym and uh, people love it. You know, wearing a yellow t-shirt with Invercargill on it. That's unique. So I uh, hope you're all having an absolutely cracker of a day. I know I am, uh, busy, busy, but uh, it's all happening, so I'm uh, off to the gym now, but you'll see in my in my, uh, my post, in my um, little um, spiel on this video, um, you know, everyone has fears and doubts in our, in our, in our mind um, that stops us or paralyzes us from moving forward. And really, you know, fear is just something that's been drummed into us over the years. It's not actually a real thing. You know, I'll give you an example. Like, you know, I've got to be doing a, a bit of a speaking thing tonight, uh, a speaking engagement thing. And, you know, there was once upon a time where public speaking was a huge fear of mine. Now, where did that come from? You know, because you, you always hear public speaking right up there with... Um, with death, it's a, real, it's a really major fear for most people, public speaking. And what's really scary about it, there's nothing really scary about it. What, what is it that they're scary about it? All you're doing is you're standing, talking to a group of people, but most people never take that step and go and do those types of things because of the fear, it paralyzes them. Now also, in business or in anything that you do in life, you know, for example, you might be someone that's had a, ma a marriage breakup or a relationship breakup, and you become a bit gun shy um, or a, a bit fearful about going into another relationship because of previous experiences. Well, fear is going to paralyze you and it's going to stop you from progressing and actually enjoying your life and living it to your full potential. You know, most people uh, have so much potential inside, but they can't get over themselves. They can't get over the, the fears and the uh, you know the inhibitions that are inside them because of what society's, uh, you know, drummed into them over the years. And, uh, you know, all I know is over the years, everything that I've ever done has always been very scary and very fearful. But if you go out there and you take action and you push through that, you're all, the, the, it becomes easier, it becomes effortless. Like, it, it doesn't become, uh, you don't get anxious thoughts prior to doing it. You don't uh, feel stressed out before you do something or whatever the case may be. And, but see, most people never step over that line of fear in their mind and actually never move forward with anything. You know, what I see big time in a lot of cases, people are, are hugely affected by the opinions of others around them. See, we are too um, affected by the people around us who don't have the results. We need to be listening to people that actually have got some sort of result in life so that we can actually follow in their footsteps and then go and achieve what it is that we want to achieve. I always got, from a you know relatively young age, I, was all, I started to read books and personal development books and business books and things like that. And I, I, I soon realized that if I was to ever make something of myself, I was going to have to learn from someone that had been there and done that before. And I think in a lot of cases, we, uh, we, we, we have the world around the wrong way. We're educating people of, of um, textbooks or whatever the case may be, and we're not actually going off the true results of what other human beings have done. And to get success, all you need to do is just actually, it's not rocket science, all you need to do is just hang on to someone that's actually got results, find out what they did and then do what they do. That's all it takes to become six, uh, successful in anything. But we spend so much time educating ourselves, you know, researching things. Sooner or later, you've got to take a step. Sooner or later, you've got to put your foot over that line and take action. Too many people are, are walking around in circles in life and, you know, they've got all these ideas, all these things that they want to do, but it's all in their head. They don't have it written down. They don't know what it is that they, they you know, they, they don't know how to start it. Well, if, if you want to be a business owner or if you want to start a business from scratch or you want to become uh, really fit in the gym or whatever the case may be, you've got to start dipping your toe in the water. You've got to start, you know, progressing, walking over that line and starting to make some things happen. See, most people, they have... Oh, I'll use myself as an example again. There's been times over the years I think, why the hell? I'm 
I'm back, I'm back and cut out. There's a bit of a uh, dead spot along the motorway, but what most people are doing is they're, 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 not, they're not actually, like, they've got an idea, they want to have a go at it, but they just can't get over themselves because of the bad conditioning. The bad condition that we've had from a young age, from a, you know, from when we were a little kid, we get told, you know, when we're starting to walk or crawl and we fall over and we bang our head, do, do our parents tell us to stop getting up and keep moving forward? No, they don't. They keep egging us on. Get up, son. Get up, daughter, whatever, so that they can get up and learn to walk. Because if you never fall down and knock your head or graze your knee or bang your arm or burn yourself, you're never going to learn. You've got to take those knocks. You've got to put your foot in the water. You've got to draw, go, step over that line. And if, you've just got to take action because if you don't take action, nothing happens. I see it time and time again. So many people with so much potential have the ability to go out there and get whatever level of success that they want in life, but they're so full of fear. They're so worried about what everyone else thinks. Just go out there and take action. Who gives a rip what anyone thinks of you? That's why I wear a yellow t-shirt on social media. The says in Picard on it, who gives a rip? No one, you know, people who judge other people are shallow. There's no need for that, you know, and you've got to have a bit of nous about you. Live your life to your full potential. Stand out from the crowd. Be different. Don't just fall into the masses like every man and his dog. You know, like all these people in the traffic here driving backward and forth to work every day. It's easy to fit into that mold. Stand out and do something different. Be an entrepreneur, you know. Um, if you want to be a public speaker, be a public speaker. If you want to, um, if, you, if you're not happy in your career and you're wanting to make a change but you don't know how, just put your foot in the water. Take a step forward and make it happen. See, most people want all this other stuff in life but they're never willing to put their toe in the water. It's not the right time. Oh, the market's crashing. It's never the right time. Look, there's never going to be the right time to get into property. There's never going to be the right time to get started in a business. There's never going to be the right time to start at the gym and try and get fit. There's never going to be the right time for anything. Life is just going to keep throwing you curveball from this angle, from that angle. And if we don't get control of our thinking and our thoughts, and we don't ever actually take some actions and actually move forward, we're, nothing's ever going to change. And I do these videos because it helps me, because when I talk like this, I'm speaking to my uh, subconscious mind, it gets imprinted in me. When I speak it to other people, I speak it to myself. But what I do like about doing the videos is I know, because I get messages from people, is it does help people, that do people get some value out of it. Look, not everything I'm going to say is going to resonate with you, and that's fine. No, I'm not going to resonate with every person that watches this video, but I'm not trying to. We don't need to conform in this world. We can help and we can affect certain people. Some people we can't. Some people just are not aligned in certain ways. So associate with people that are going to lift you up. Don't worry about fear. Fear is a figment in your imagination. It's just something that's been built up over time. It's bad programming that goes on. Forget fear. Just take action. Go out there and, and do something. Do something with your life. This, I mean, I'm, I'm 33 in a, a, in a few days' time. And, man, 33, I... Oh, 33 years has gone pretty bloody quick and uh, another 33 will go really quick and that's why it's important to set yourself up from a financial point of view set yourself up and do something that you actually feel passionate about you know I never thought if someone had asked if Cameron Stewart you'd be doing but at 16 years of age if someone had asked me if I'd be doing, be doing videos online doing public speaking engagements running businesses you know, doing you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars of turnover and business and all this other stuff, I would have been like, no way I would have do, would do that. Because see, at that point in my time, I didn't have the self-belief. But over the years, your belief gets better and bigger and bigger, but you've got to put your toe in the water. You've got to step over that line. You've just got to take action, guys. The fear goes. Fear is not real. Fear is a figment of your imagination. Just forget about it. Focus on the things that you want to do. And every time you do something that makes you uncomfortable, you're moving forward. If you're not doing anything that's uncomfortable, you're not moving forward. You've stagnated in life. So I hope this helps some of you guys or, or ladies out there. I hope that this message comes across in the right way. It's not going, whoa, look at me. I don't do this for that reason. I do it because I like to help others. I don't do it for any other reason other than I like to help others.
and I think so many people are lost going around and around in circles and I think someone or some people need to, to work as a collective you know we need to stand on our own two feet we need to start believing in ourselves more we need to stop watching the shit on TV we need to be focused we need to understand where we're going focus on our goals focus on our objectives our dreams whatever it is that you want to call it and go out there and make it happen because this is one life and it is one chance that we have give it your best shot see you at the top